Okay, here we have a small document with 10 segments and as you can see these segments are very similar to each other's but they are not quite identical. So if we look at the first and the second segment we will see that uh, there's a difference. There's a dot at the end of the first segment and no dot at the end of the second one. Uh, the third one has the verb has whereas the first one has the verb had. So always a small difference. Now, if we analyze this document with uh, Trados Workbench, the gold standard of our trade, here is what will happen. So in Workbench, I select Tools and Analyze, and I will add the file that I just showed you. Mary had a little bit lamb. And uh, now it's uh, selected. And if I analyze this document, here is what I will get. Okay, it's ready. So I have a total of uh, 10 segments and they are all in the no match category. So from the point of view of uh, Workbench, they are all identical. So there is no leverage to be expected uh, from them. Now, if you are used to translate with a translation tool, you know that once you have translated the first segment, you will obtain for the remaining nine segments fuzzy matches. And we will now look at uh, what modern tools would do with such a document and in what way they can inform you beforehand of the kind of leverage that you can get once you have started to translate this document. So let's start first with MemoQ. Here I'm, I'm in MemoQ and uh, the analysis function of uh, MemoQ is called statistics here. And if I click on statistics and I perform a normal analysis with calculate, MemoQ will also find that all 10 segments are in the no match category. However, what I can do, I can tick homogeneity here and perform a new analysis with calculate. And now I have only one segment in the no match category. So this is considered as a new segment, but the remaining nine segments are split in three different categories. So there are two in the 95 to 99 category. There is one in the 75 to 84 category and the remaining six are in the 50 to 74 percent category. So I know that with this particular document, uh, I can expect some leverage as I start uh, translating with MemoQ. Now let's have a look at uh, WordFast Pro. So here my same document is uh, selected. And again, if I select Analyze, here is what I will get. Okay. So Again, everything is in the no match category, 10 segments, no leverage to be expected. However, if I now tick this setting, calculate internal fuzzy matches, and if I set the threshold to 50, here is what will happen. So now I click on analyze again. And now I have only one segment in the no match category and the remaining nine segments can be found under the internal fuzzies category. So there are two segments in the 95 to 99 category. There are no segments in the 85 to 94 category and there are three segments in the 75 to 84 category and four segments in the 50 to 74 percent category. So the split is not the same as in MemoQ and this is because uh, each tool has their own algorithm so they don't calculate the matches in the same way but the general principle is the same. There is only one totally new segment and all for all the remaining nine segments we will get some leverage from what we have already translated. Now let's have a look at uh, Studio. So we have uh, Studio 2011 here and the same document is uh, selected. And if I choose for this document Batch Task and Analyze Files and then Next, it's a bit uh, longish in Studio, this process. And here if I select uh, Yes, Finish, here is what will happen. Okay, it's ready. So if I go to reports, I will see a report like this. So again, everything is considered new 
in the, the new category. So let's start again. Let's go back to files and now we will perform a new analysis. Batch task, analyze files and next. But this time we will go to analyze files and here we will tick report internal fuzzy match leverage and select finish. And now let's go to reports and if we go in reports here is what we will see. So this time we will see under the internal category we will see nine segments. So there is one in the new category and under internal we will find nine segments. So there are two in the 95 to 99 categories, six in the 85 to 94, zero in the 75 to 84 and one in the 50 to 74. So again, the split is not the same as in MemoQ and WordFast Pro, but the idea is the same. We will get some leverage as we translate. So that's how these three tools are able to inform us beforehand of the kind of leverage we can get once we start translating. I didn't cover Deja Vu in this video because this feature, as far as I'm aware, is not uh, present in Deja Vu. I have heard that the same feature existed in SDLX and it also exists in Metatexis and uh, Transit. And I have a question for you guys now. Do you know any other tools that support uh, this feature? If so, please let me know in the comments uh, area down below. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe to my channel for more similar content. And see you in the next video.